On average, a generation is somewhere between 25 to 30 years. If you went back 15 generations at 30 years per person, it would be 450 years from you now. Let's talk about our ancestors. How many going back and what they contribute to your DNA? The you that you actually are contains many individuals. Your ancestors. Your DNA sequence has 47 parts or chunks, 23 chromosomes from your father and 23 chromosomes from your mother, plus a small packet of mitochondrial DNA that makes up 47. When your parents made you, they spliced and broke down their DNA, which they got from their parents about 70 times on average, and you received that mix of DNA that makes up who you are genetically. This process is called recombination. As we go back in time, each generation breaks up their DNA about 70 times. The further back you go, this DNA dilutes further and further, where you receive smaller genetic information from those ancestors. Also, the further back in time you go, the more ancestors you have, but again, their contribution to you becomes divided into smaller parts. It gets to the point anywhere from 10 to 11 generations back where many of those ancestors no longer contribute to you even though they are your direct ancestors. You see, you may not receive certain DNA from some of your father or mother's ancestors. What you are given is random. As an example, your father may give you DNA from some of his ancestors, enough to make up his 23 chromosomes, but maybe leave out an ancestor reducing that DNA information in you. This is a random process and it's repeated through time. People from the past may no longer contribute to you where other descendants do. So you're made up of samples of many people in the hundreds, thousands, and tens of thousands, each contributing to you in smaller chunks as you go back in time. Let's take a look at your ancestors going back in your line. How many ancestors and what percent they contribute that makes up who you are. You receive 100% of your DNA from your parents, percent from your grandparents, percent from your great-grandparents of which you have 8, percent of your second great-grandparents of which you have 16, and the number of ancestors continue to double as you go back in time but their DNA contributions begin to decrease as well. In about 15 generations you have 32,768 ancestors. As mentioned earlier, many of those ancestors might not be contributing as the process of recombination is random. Some genetic information may be left out in place of other ancestors. Also as mentioned before, 15 generations is about 450 years back in time from you. If we count 450 years back from say 2019, it would place you 15 generations back in the year 1569. We are using the average of 30 years between generations for this example, but everyone's tree may vary. So as mentioned before, we would have 32,768 direct ancestors at that point. The population of Europe was about 90.7 million. If just one tree going back 15 generations has 32,768 people, and we multiply the current population by 32,768 to see how many people that would be, well, that would make for way too many people to have ever lived. It just does not work. Every person alive today must have about 32,768 people in their direct line going back 15 generations. That is more people than have ever lived. Therefore, there has to be some explanation on how this could be. Well, the answer is we share common ancestors. To find out more on this, check out my video, Are We All Related? I hope you find this helpful. Check out my other videos about DNA and ancestry, and I'll catch you next time.